Boom, what's up everybody? My name is Kim Scogwell and today I'll be showing you how you can make your own disbursement effect. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, I'm gonna be doing it from start to finish, including color grading it the way I would like it. And so it's a bit of a longer one, uh, this episode, this tutorial. But if you like it, please hit that subscribe button, uh, hit that notification bell and leave a comment down below. It's highly appreciated. And uh, let's just get to it. See you all inside. Cool. So here we are inside Affinity Photo and this is the effect we're going to try and replicate today. And this is this dispersion effect. I believe that's how you pronounce it. So it makes it look like this old Ford here is being tractor beamed up into the sky. So you can see there's quite a few layers, nothing really too uh, difficult at all here, but it's just mostly toning of the image, but let's get to it here now. So I'm gonna just delete all of these layers. We start all over. And this is how the image looks. I just got it off of uh, Unsplash uh, right from stock photos here. I went car uh, search for and then I found it in here so you can find this exact image there. And then the next thing you need to do is cut it out, cut out the truck. So you get only the truck. And if you're gonna use that same background, this background here, you don't have to be too careful about it. As long as you get clean lines around the, the, the parts that are up towards the sky. So we're gonna duplicate this layer three times. And then I'm gonna take them up top here. And then I'm just going to take this one off. So this first one we're going to call white mask. And then the second one we're going to call black mask. And you're going to see why in a minute. So we made two because we need to liquefy one and stretch it out. And we're going to do that to this black one here. So we can just unhook this one. Make sure we have the black one. Uh, concealed and it's very important that you do make this you rasterize it when you get it so you have a pixel layer but black we are going up here to the liquify persona and then you can make your brush bigger or smaller whatever you want and we're gonna start pulling and it's very important that you pull in the same direction from all your pulls so you get this this uh, required effect here as much as you want and we're just gonna pull out a whole bit here. So we get pretty good. And you can adjust your brush to get the desired effect here. And as you can see, this does not look great, but we're gonna, we're gonna get to that in a second. Cool, so when you have stretch your car, or whatever it is you do. Most people do this tutorial with people as a portrait because it's a lot easier because there's only one surface. Here we have several surfaces to consider to make it look real. So now we can add on our top layer here, white mask. And we call, I called it white mask because we're just gonna click down on the mask layer. So this puts a white mask on it. So we have to paint it black. And then I'm just gonna right it here so there's no doubt this mask here we're going to paint black and then black mask we're going to hold down option or alt and hit the layer uh, mask layer you can see the background disappeared so here we're going to call it paint white cool now the other important thing is when we start uh, painting here on the black on the white mask with black it's really important that you kind of take this whole edge off. That's the, the better you take the edge off here, the hard edge, the more realistic it's gonna look in the end. So now we have that layer selected and you need black and white up here on color. So just hit D on your keyboard if you're on a Mac. If you're on Windows, you would have to have set this uh, shortcut up. If not, you could just uh, click up here and then adjust them one two all the way to the right one all the way to the left so we're gonna have this black color we're gonna go to brushes and you're probably gonna be here on basic and I have a few extra brush packs in here but 
you go basic and then you should find this person uh, brush but I'm not gonna use this person I'm gonna use the spray and patterns because I like that a little bit better and we're gonna go and change in between brushes here so just make sure you're on black make sure you have your mask uh, selected we're gonna have the paint brush out see it changed on me now so we're gonna hit black again or D and then go back to brushes here and now we're just going to start painting across across the edge here and you're just gonna you can change your size on your brush and we can change the brush that one is a bit too much I'm gonna go down a little bit I'm gonna go back to this one here just so we get uh, a little bit better and we're gonna I'm gonna try and replicate the other uh, the image I've shown you at the beginning and because we have cut the background out you don't have to worry about uh, stretching it out right now that's what the black layer mask is for and I'm doing this as quickly as I can to make this tutorial go go as fast as I can so now you can see we have painted across the top and the side here we can close this layer, open up the black mask, and mark just paint white mask here. So again, use you gotta choose your brushes here, but make sure you switch over to white, and that's X on your keyboard to change between foreground colors. Make sure it's all set all the way to white. Then we can go to brushes. I'm gonna choose this brush. I'm gonna have make it a little bit bigger and I'm going to just paint up and it's very important that you keep the same angle or roughly the same angle on your brush strokes or you can just click in randomly in between like so or you can and then we're going to I'm going to always change a little bit on brush sizes and make it look that just makes the consistency look better and we can see we got some hard edges here and we're gonna remove them in after so that's roughly looking the same and I'm just gonna Go over here on the front. Like so. We can close this and now we can turn on the background layer. And we can see here that that looks not too bad. But we're going to remove these, this harsh outlining here. So be on the black mask and paint on the paint white layer except we're gonna switch over to a basic brush here soft edged so you want to take the have opacity at 100 and keep the flow down to about 20 ish and then hardness also around 20 ish doesn't have to be exact but you you'll uh, see in a minute Okay, and now we need to make sure we're painting with black because we want to hide these lines here. So we're just going to go all the way out around there. And we're going to take this here too. Make the brush a little bit smaller. I'm just going to go in here just so we take away those harshest lines and then we're going to switch over to a uh, brush to the one we used here so go back to your um, whatever dispersion brush or uh, colors you used here make sure we're still painting on with black and you can just go roughly a little bit over it like so make it look a little bit better cool okay 
I'm gonna stop now just because I want to save some time here and uh, and we're gonna get to the end of this picture so now it's time to start um, color grading it or uh, just styling it the way you want it so the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make a uh, so a uh, like a light source with tractor beams on it there so I wanna just go over here choose my elliptical tool I'm gonna make myself a new layer then I'm gonna just make a sort of elliptical like that make sure you turn off the stroke you don't want to have stroke on and you want to keep it white for now take a move tool move it a little bit that looks you can move it out just make it fit like so that's good we're gonna make three of these so command or control duplicate then we're gonna take this the top one down to about 25 28, 25 doesn't really matter. You're gonna take this one to about 50, and then have this one to 100. And now we're gonna make one more layer here, and that is uh, we're gonna just click up here. We're on the color tab. Click and drag. Find a color of the truck, roughly like so. Then hit B on your keyboard again and make sure you have a dispersion brush or your and then we're just gonna paint uh, over but we have to make sure it's um, active that green color and we have the new layer like so and now we're gonna group the ellipses and that green so we're gonna group them command or control G once you have marked them all so we're going to leave it at normal or pass through then we're going to go up to filters but we're going to do it with live filters so you go down here to this time glass and we're going to go to motion blur hit it we're just going to take up here and and sort of angle it a little bit the same way we're going to turn it down just a touch a little bit more so that looks pretty good. I'm gonna take it up to probably 200. You just mark it and type in 200. And then hit enter. So that looks good, but now we have a hard edge there. So you mark the top layer. And we're gonna put on a mask. We're gonna hit B again on the brush to make sure we have black foreground. Get a basic brush here and have low flow and low hardness and then I'm just gonna paint over here but that's a bit too still too harsh I'm gonna go down there make the brush a little bit wider and there we go cool and now I can go here and we can we first have to mark it and we're gonna go here to uh, probably lighten that looks okay screen or maybe down here to uh, to hue average so that's average looks the best cool so now we have that effect in and you can see that looks a lot better than without now I'm gonna put on a um, top layer here to get that uh, what you call that the flannel look or the um, this look here sort of matted so you can see it kind of looks matte and really cool so go back I'm gonna get our change over here to a rectangle too we're gonna have a new layer just so I know where we are we're gonna drag it over cool we're gonna drag it all the way over the picture. We're gonna make sure we have turned off stroke. Then we're gonna go over to fill. And this image has a lot of green in it, so we're gonna go over here to black green, like so. And then we're gonna go over and down to hue. So now you can see we have toned it in a little bit. So now it looks a lot like the other picture. We can take it off just a touch, maybe like so 
And that would say we're almost done, but we're gonna make some small, um, some small, um, looks like the, the bed is actually coming off the truck. Or not the bed, but the paint and stuff. So you can see that looks pretty decent, but we're gonna make a few more attachments here. So we're gonna take uh, to this pixel layer we just made and we're just gonna mark it or you make a new pixel layer above here. So we have this, we're gonna go back to brushes, we're gonna go to sp uh, sprays and spatters or whatever brushes you want or used. Then I'm gonna mark these ones. I'm gonna hit B on my brush tool again and I need colors because I need black and white for a minute. And we're gonna just have there were some paints over there, some over there. I was a bit. I gotta put flow and hardness up to 100 here. There we go. There we go. Cool. So now we're gonna duplicate this layer we just made, Command or Control J. Now we have two of these ones. And I'm just gonna go over here to uh, the fill paint, flood fill tool. And then we're gonna take this back here. We're gonna go down to around this area outside. You get, gotta have the same color there. So I'm gonna zoom in here, Command or Control uh, Plus, and I'm gonna just click on these. Or you can do, since we use black, you can hold uh, or press Command or Control I inward them. And then you get, you can fill in a little bit more of these, but I missed completely. There we go. Now I'm going to keep it at this, hit V on the move tool, and we're going to just make these a little bit smaller. And maybe just... There we go. I'm gonna take this one. We're gonna there. We're gonna go in here and find a good blend mode for them. And I'm guessing soft light or pin light would work here. There we are. Now we can go and we can take the opacity down a little bit. Here, I'm gonna zoom out so we make sure it looks pretty good. That looks not too bad, but except for down here, but we can fix that. We're gonna just put these two layers into a group. Command or Control G. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna take this first one again and zoom back in. Because I don't know, pin light was the best one. There we go for that one. There. And then I'm gonna just hit a mask on this one. Hit B on my brush tool here and black. I'm gonna now I'm just gonna stick to these basic brushes here. And we're gonna have hardness off the, or low, and then just go over here. Make sure we paint here. Like so. Now that looks pretty decent. And looks like there's more paint coming off, and there's some holes here gone through the outside now and it's looking on the inside of the bed fender here, the side wall. And that would be dark if there hasn't uh, completely come through. And up here the paint has just left. Uh, and usually you have a lot of gray um, base colors put down on cars. Uh, so we're up here. That's good. And now are pretty darn close to 
what we had. So we already spent 22 minutes here getting this done. So I'm going to stop it right here. And I hope you like this tutorial. If you do, uh, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and then uh, make sure you hit that notification bell as well to uh, get the latest update and notifications when I post new content.